this shirt today, but it's just so loose. It was never like this before. Like the sleeves are all like puffed up here. I just don't understand. But if you guys are interested in buying this, let me know. I'm probably going to list it on Poshmark or something like that because this is just... I don't know. I mean, I guess it looks okay on camera, but I don't think it looks... It just looks weird on me now. I'm Chastica, but I just basically rubbed it off on the back of my hand. Classy, right? <laughs> so I just got my Kylie lip kit in the mail, and I wanted to show you what one of the colors looks like. Um, these are currently the liquid lips I've been wearing the most. I have, this is the Kat Von D Lolita 2, which is kind of more uh, brownish red. This is the Candy K Lip Liner, fave. Candy K uh, Liquid Lip, fave. And then this is Rain, which is like a red metallic shade. This is like her metal matte lipstick. Um, this one is super, super dark on me, so this I don't wear too often, but the Candy K I've been wearing almost every single day. So I figured... I would show you what it looks like on... I mean, props to like the beauty gurus who can do makeup videos because this shit ain't easy. I'm just testing out a liquid look for you guys and this is already like a mess for me. <laughs> I'm gonna apply it on with this mirror and then show you what it looks like. And one thing I like to do first is uh, do my cupid's bow because my cupid's bow is so sharp I could literally cut somebody <laughs> I know it looks a little messy but we're gonna fill it in or I'm gonna fill it in so yeah that is the actual shape of my uh, lip It's probably a better idea if I sit down and do this instead of standing, but I mean, too late. Basically just fill in my lips like that with the Candy K lip pencil. And I actually have another color called Posy K, it's in my book bag. But out of all the colors that I've tried so far from Kylie's lip kit, Candy K is still my favorite. And shout out to Julia if you're watching this because she actually let me try hers first before I bought it and that's when I like fell in love with this color. So I'm just going to take the liquid lip and uh, just pop it on. I should name this series like beauty videos from like a non-beauty guru because I am pretty far from that. <laughs> I feel like all the girls who watch my videos are always like, oh, do more va beauty videos, do more makeup videos, and I'm like, okay, I should, but it's just so damn hard. Jeffrey Star, he has like a whole team who helps him like film, and like his his uh boyfriend works for him and his makeup company. That's just amazing. He's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch because he's just. The way he expresses himself and the way he talks about everything is just so great. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. If Will is watching this, hi. Um, he says this looks like I got clay on my lips. It doesn't look like clay yet because it's still wet. But once it dries down, it dries down really matte. So I guess that's why he thinks it looks like clay. But I mean, I love this color so much. Mm-hmm. And I also got my lashes on, so today is a good day. Oh my god, I need to buy like 18 liquid lipsticks of Candy K and the and the uh, the lip pencil. I guess I'm getting so excited just talking about it, but this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm obsessed. Run the straightening iron through this little section of my hair because, you know, whenever I straighten my hair the next day, after I sleep on it, I get like all these kinks and like whatnot in my hair. It's not cute. And I also don't want to straighten my hair every day either. What else? Oh, and this is the uh, Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. It works pretty decently, I gotta say. At first I thought I wouldn't like it that much, but it's actually not bad smells pretty good and it's kind of like um a dry shampoo hairspray so when you use it it kind of like has like this hard texture that gives a lot of volume to your hair 
the only thing with this stuff is that it doesn't come out as much as the Batiste. So I feel like you get less product out of it. And it also feels very like hairspray. -y. Like it's not powdery. I feel like it's more like a hairspray that like volumizes your hair. And I actually have both. So I mean, out of these two, I think I still prefer my Batiste. This one has a very crisp lemon smell. This one kind of has like that classic fruity herbal essence smell, which isn't bad, but I mean, even the packaging is kind of similar. I don't know, I still prefer my Batiste. I swear, um, whenever I brush my hair, so many hairs fall out every single time. I know the average person loses about 50 to 80 strands a day. I'm definitely losing more than that, probably around like 200. <laughs> I don't even know. And the other thing I don't like about this dry shampoo is that it doesn't feel dry. Like, yeah, it adds a lot of volume to my hair, but when I'm touching it, it takes a second to dry, whereas the Batiste one comes out dry, so I don't have to wait for it to dry. This is like, I mean, this is a lot of volume, but it takes a minute to dry. So yeah, I talked about my Kylie Lip Kit, uh, my new dry shampoo that I'm testing out. Let me know if you guys like these random beauty videos. I'm not a beauty guru. Help me think of a name for these types of videos because I'm not that creative when it comes to names. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this and I'll do more. See you guys later. Bye.